nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello, so the pool uh, videos will have to wait because I have, I finally did it. I bought a house. I finally bought a house. It's a renovation house deep in the forest, deep in the forest. So the house uh, will fit my pool table. That was the only, t only house I could find that could fit my pool table. And it is an old church. So a very big hall very big hall and it will fit my pool table so i'm gonna play pool in a church in the future but first uh, first i need to sell my uh, i need to uh, move my pool table and i previously I, I thought about will i will i sell my pool table or will i find a house to put my pool table into because they are going to make a renovation in my in, in this apartment they make a renovation i need to take apart the pool table anyway and I need to move out anyway because I can't afford the rent increase after the renovation. So usually they increase the rent by 50% after a renovation and I can't afford that. So I bought the house, cheap, with the cheapest house I could find. It was a great deal, a lot of problems with the house. I got it for half, half the uh, market cost because of the problems there and I, I, I will be the house is covered in asbestos covered in asbestos and the uh, problem with the wiring electricity I tried to flip the switch or flip this light switch didn't work and then I just hit the wall a little bit the light came on so something is loose there and it need to be fixed also lighting problems a very tall ceiling I can't get to the ceiling like four and a half meters tall ceiling how can i put my pool table lights there i can't get up there i need to buy a ladder so i need to buy a lot of stuff before i can uh, get back to playing pool because right now i'm using my pool table as a packing table because uh, i don't live here anymore i i moved to my new home and i need i, I go back and forth with a backpack uh, moving stuff to my new home okay uh, so, so yeah, so soon uh, I'm going to show you more about my, uh, in my new home, in my new house, I will show the, the church hall in my house and how I will install the pool table and I will keep you updated about my progress. <coughs> so because I move back and forth I carry stuff 35 kilos last time I carried just with a backpack and with a cart pulling the cart at the same time I got very sore in my love handles very, very good exercise to, to, to move using a backpack instead of uh, paying, paying money for a moving company so the table will be moved using a piano mover company they have an 800 kilo limit so my pool table is 550 kilos with the table lights bolster cleaning machine and accessories i get up to 600 kilos for my pool stuff alone then i can add 200 kilos of stuff of extra stuff that they will carry for me to my new home but because of the 800 kilo limit i need to carry the little stuff myself with a, with a backpack and a cart so i go back and forth like that so i just want to tell you about the update that uh, yeah i finally find, found a place for my pool table that I, I was i was really thinking a lot about what i will do in the future if i will sell my pool table or or not but I will not sell my pool table because I found a home for the pool table just in time before the renovation. So I'm going to take apart the pool table in about half a year. And uh, in the summer, I'm going to make them move the pool table. So I need to go now. So until next, until next time, goodbye. Hello one year later this is my new home i live in a church 
of the church podium and I put my pool table in front of the podium and you can hear the echo in this hall you can hear the echo here I will zoom out zoom out the camera so you can see more and there are lights up there I don't have any normal pool lights they are down there on the floor there uh, because I couldn't cli climb up into the ceiling very tall ceiling here so I could not climb up I'm going to rotate I'm going to move up the camera so you can see up into the ceiling there you see that very tall ceiling in this church and uh, I'm gonna zoom back in at the table and I have installed this table myself and I have deassembled it and assembled it back into the original state as it was in so this is the first time I make a video in my new home and uh, I put together the same cloth as I had before instead of buying a new one because I can't afford it because if I could afford a new cloth I would I would also afford a mechanic to assemble the table for me but I had to do it myself I had to remove everything put it back together so now I'm, I'm, I'm at my last uh, stage of the assembly putting the final pocket so I saved that for you so I could make a video so I could make a video for you when I finally finish assembling this table and you put the pocket uh, from below up like this and then you screw it together and I have cleaned all the balls already so they are there in the pocket over there I'll, and uh, I haven't touched uh, my Q-stick for more than a year and I haven't played any pool for more than a year because I, I have been moving and I, I used my pool table as a packing table when I was packing stuff. I sold a lot of stuff to be able to afford this house. And this house cost very little money because it's so far away from the nearest city, very deep in the forest, very cheap. So I fi finalized screwing, screwing the pocket with the, my little tool here this little tool is what I'm using and I screw it by hand because the screwdriver doesn't fit into the pocket so now I'm finished, finally and uh, I just put it back here into, the, into my into my toolbox and the balls are over there are the balls i will take them out i have a new shirt on because i got fat i was training a lot so i could lift up the table i built some muscle so i just had to eat and eat and eat build some muscles to, to be able to carry pieces Slaves. Three of these slaves I carry. Very heavy slaves. 108 kilos each for these slaves. So three times 108, 324 kilos is what I carry. And I assembled this table myself with the help. I got help from the strongest woman I have ever met and she helped me carry those slates 
when we deassemble and reassemble the table. So I got a lot of help there. I could not have could not have done that myself. Impossible. And actually she carried more weight than I did. I almost fell down when I tried to lift up the, the pool table slate. Almost tripped and fell and broke something in my body, but luckily I did not. So, this is going to be my first rack ever in a one year period. And I will take my stick, cue stick from my bag. And this is my old, very old cue case, which I have not, uh, I don't use this cue case. But I saved it in case I needed it, and I did need this case because of the move. When I moved, when I moved my cue stick, I wanted I wanted my cue stick to, to be safe in a, in a bigger case. In this case, it damaged, very very worn out. And. Normally I use this cube case, very soft, orange, you can see it in the dark when you walk from the pool hall at night. So that's why you should have an orange uh, cube case to protect you from the cars, from traffic. So if there's a car coming behind you, you can see it, but the car can see you because you are shining orange at night. And also, I, tra I transported my, my house cue in this, this, uh, this cube case that I made myself. And this is my house cue, and I use my house cue as, uh, as a bridge for long shots. But yeah, this uh, cube case is made from uh, uh, tubes that I taped together with some metal between them. So two, two tubes connected together with some metal bars and a lot of tape. Yeah. So let me screw together my cue. Uh, I'm using a carom cue and this is the joint the joint is on the shaft shaft side instead of the butt side oh how where's the hole i have a joint protector here forgot to remove the joint protector so where will i put the joint protector I have a lot of the cool stuff I put here on, on this table and here I put, I put the chalk, blue diamond chalk which I use here and I'm, go I'm planning to switch I'm planning to switch into a cheaper chalk I can't afford the blue diamond anymore so I'm going to switch and the only difference is that you need to chalk more often when you use a cheaper chalk I need to feel, I need to feel when I screw together, so it is screwed the optimal with the optimal force. I like that. And now let's see. Let me chalk the cue. And uh, I don't have any pool, pool table lights here because I, I can't get up there to change change the lights. So I just use normal normal house uh, lamp in the ceiling. Let me chalk the cue. And many people, many YouTube, YouTubers have have has asked me why don't you do any breaks? Because I didn't want to get evicted from my apartment. But now when I live in a house, nobody can hear me when I break the balls. So I can I can break. I can finally make videos where I break the balls. So let let's start. And uh, my, my dog is right there behind, so I don't want to break too, too hard. You see my dog there? My dog is over there. 
I, I didn't I didn't notice that my dog was here. I had no idea my dog was here. I thought my dog was in another room, but but my my, my dog is <laughs> over there sitting. So I can't break so hard right now. I don't want to accidentally hit my dog. So I will break soft in this first video. So I haven't I haven't uh, touched my cue in a in a year. I haven't played any pool any pool for a year. So this will be interesting how it will go. So let's let me break. Let me break. Ooh, I have new pants also because I got, I got so fat a new shirt. I got fat. I had to buy one size bigger. I, I was building muscle only because to be able to assemble the table because it's so heavy. That was the only reason I gained weight. Just to be able to do that without paying anyone else to do the job for you. Okay, let me break the balls. Let's see what will happen. I need to adjust my mask a little bit. There you go. Let me start the game. I hope I hope I don't scratch in, in my first chat. Let me try that. Oh cue ball stayed pretty straight there. Cue ball did not hit any rails, so that's a very good, very good beginning. I'm very happy. Let's see. Oh, it is almost straight. Uh, yeah. The, the one ball is facing the left side of the pocket, so I need to shoot from, from uh, this side on the one on the cue ball to throw to throw the one ball more to, to the bottom. And they are almost touching and just a little bit little bit gap between the one ball and the cue ball. So I'm going to shoot from, from this side. Shoot hard from this side and the one ball should go in in the pocket. And here I will hit the eight ball on the edge. So the cue ball is going to travel all over there. Let me see what will happen now. Yeah, and then I will left spin. Go this way, this way, come up this way. Somewhere for, for the two ball. Okay, so low, low left spin and shoot hard. Whoops, what happened there? What happened there? I missed a shot. Oh well, I left a safety, I left a safety there. Let's see how long it will take for me to run the rack. I got a safety, lucky safety here. Now I need to make a kick shot. The two ball can be made in this pocket, so I will left spin, make the one, cue ball will come up somewhere here, I hope. So let me do a kick shot. Kick shot. Let's see if I still have it. Oh, I did not. I scratched in the pocket. Let me do it another time. Okay, I will do it again. Let's see if I can, if I can hit the one ball this time. Ah, that was closer. I want to hit it. I need to hit this. I need to hit this ball. I went on, on the wrong side. And final adjustment here. I miscued. I miscued. So it has been an entire year since I played any pool. And you can see, you can already see that I have lost a lot, a lot of skill. Lost a lot of skill. I can't even hit the one ball. I can't hit the one ball. There we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> when I finally hit, when I finally hit the one ball, I made it. I can't believe it. So let's continue. Here I need to make a draw shot. If you haven't played pool for a long time, you have you struggle a lot in draw shots. I don't think I will even be able to draw it back. But I'm I'm gonna try. 
So the problem is to follow through that you are not used to following through the cue ball if you haven't played for a long time. Just in case, I will, I will chop my cue when I make a draw shot. I haven't done this for a long time. Okay, so let me try this. Nope, I did not. Oh, I, <laughs> I made the six in the corner. Lucky me. But now, he, this is a very, very tough shot here. You, you can't do anything here, but it is possible to make it with the double keys. You hit the cue ball. Uh, two ball hits the rail, comes out from the rail and hits the one ball and the two ball will go in the pocket. At least that is what I hope. So let me try that. Left handed. Okay, double kiss. Nope, I didn't make it. Yep, so I don't think that was possible to do with a the two ball had some uh, follow on it, so it did, it, it, did, it did not have the right angle to get go into the corner pocket. This is a very difficult game. I haven't played for a year and I, I'm struggling a lot. I, I actually, I haven't made a single ball. Nor normally. I just made, made a kick shot and normal shots I have not, be, I have not been able to make. So, yeah. Now, I need to make a top spin and right spin. But with this angle, it is, not, it is not going to be so easy. So I'm going to go around the table. Shoot harder. Come up this way uh, for the three ball. And then I will make a, a cut shot on the three. One ray, two rays. Back here for the four ball. And I think that, that is the safest way to play this, uh, this rack. So I'm going to use left spin and little top spin. Yep, that is what that is what happens if you haven't played for a long time. You shoot too soft. You shoot way too soft and now I can't I can't make a cut shot so easily. So I'm going to make a bank shot. Make it in the corner here. I'm using a low right spin that will, uh, the right spin will throw the three ball uh, more to the corner pocket in, instead of going this path. So yeah, with right spin on the cue ball, the three ball is going to take left, left spin and go this angle for the corner pocket. So, and then draw on the cue ball we will make the cue ball stop here instead of hitting the rail and going this way so i'm going to kill the cue ball a little bit with the low right spin like that and yeah that was uh, that was not even close but uh, at least i tried at least i tried so i haven't made a single shot yet just a lucky kick shot, that's it. Now time to use the extender, the, the bridge here. Maybe with the, with the bridge I can make the shot. Without the bridge I can't make a shot. Okay, so here I need to use a top spin and right spin to come up with the cue ball. Yes, finally I made a shot. <laughs> Maybe I should continue using this, uh, this bridge. Yeah, now I'm on the four ball. Uh, I would like to be somewhere here with the cue ball to come up here, easy shot of the seven. And go to come up to the eight ball. So. I'm going to make this uh, shoot a little soft uh, so it will maximize the chance of the ball going in because if I shoot too hard it can rattle in the pocket. So I'm going to shoot this little soft, maybe stop somewhere here with the cue ball, that's, that is fine. But preferably I want to go into fur further with the cue ball. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Whoops, I hit it too thin. I hit that too thin. The four ball hit, hit this part of the pocket. That is why the cue ball went further. Because if I had hit it full, the cue ball would have stopped earlier. So let's see if I can still see the seven ball. Ooh, I can barely see that, but I'm, I'm not able to hit the seven so thin. So I need to hit it full because the nine is in the way. So I will hit it full. So I need to use more top spin to be able to come closer to the eight. But uh, I'm not able to get so high up with the cue ball because I need to hit the seven, the seven so full. Yep, whoops. I was able to hit it thinner than I expected, so the cue ball went higher up. So that was very close that I, that I hit, the, hit the nine there. Now I have a tough cut shot on the eight, and if you haven't played for a long time, you want to avoid cut shots. Maybe make a bank shot over here, and let's see what will happen if I miss the bank shot. If I miss the bank shot, like this, eight ball will come up this way come up this way and maybe go behind the nine if I miss the shot. So that is a backup plan I have here. So I, will, I need to play with speed to enable that possibility. Because if I don't play with speed, maybe make a soft shot and miss the shot, eight ball will end up somewhere here and then I lose again. But if I play with speed and prepare for the worst, that if I miss a shot, eight ball is going to go to the other side of the table. So I'm going to do that, I will shoot harder. And I will, I will play position for the nine at the same time. Yeah. Like that, I missed a shot. Yeah, it, 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 it did not go as I expected. I hit closer to the pocket, so the eight ball did not go that direction. Let me show you what happens if I hit it uh, wrong. And it, it should go to the other side of the tape. Yeah, like that. Something like, yeah. I will show it again. Got to show this again. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, there you go. You see the eight ball comes over here, and then one cue ball should be somewhere here, and that's that's a safety in, in case you miss the shot. Let me show it again. This is an impossible cut shot over here. Yeah, let me show you here. And now I made the shot and I got good position on the nine ball. So I'm, I'm going to do it again. Try to miss the shot this time. Try to miss the shot. And now it's too close to the corner, so it went this direction. But if I hit too further away from the corner, Like that, then the eight ball comes to that side of the table and you get a safe. So that was my backup plan in case I missed the bank shot. And this will be different on different tables, so it will never be the same on every table. Mm -hmm. But that is something you need to think about if you haven't played for a long time and you don't know if you will make, it, make, the, make the ball or not. There's also a possibility you need to you need to think about that. It can also go into the middle pocket. And I'm gonna do it again like this from from here. Yeah. I will do it from here like that. And now let's see. If, if, if I can, uh, I got a miscue, so if you're using a lot of spin, eventually you will get a miscue. Shock, shock the cue, 
Now we show it again, this, uh, this bank shot. And the cube, eight ball. I will show different variations so you can see what can happen in this shot. Like that. Yeah, the keyboard is going, going too far, too close to the nine right now. I will do it again. There you go. Now that is something I. That is what I wanted. Now you see the eight ball stays here, keep ball over there. So you need to have a very precise setup of these balls to make that happen. So you need to practice and see and try to remember how it will look like. Like that. Yeah, so you, you can get away with missing the bank shot. Just if you use enough speed on the cue ball. Because if you shoot soft and you miss the shot, I will shoot soft, miss the shot. You see, game over. Game over. I will do it again, with a, a variation. Make a soft bank shot, soft bank shot. How can you win the game? You lose the game, you see. You can't, you can't escape with the eight ball anywhere if you make a soft bank shot. Again, soft, soft bank shot. You leave open for the opponent to win the game. But you lose every, every time. If you miss the shot, you lose if you make a soft bank shot. But if you make a hard bank shot and enable the possibility of the eight going to the other side of the table and getting snooker behind the nine, then you have a bigger chance of winning the game. So I will show it again. With speed. And you can even make it in the side pocket if you're lucky. So you have, you have doubled your chance of winning uh, because you have two pockets the eight ball can go into. You have two pockets and if you miss the side pocket, eight ball will go behind the nine. And now we show it again, with speed, 8-4, goes behind the 9, right there, you see? Now I'm, I'm, starting to, I'm starting to get back my skill. It will take a long time until I'm fully back, but it's getting closer. I'll do it again, with speed, and also in the side pocket. You see, you see that? If you miss the... If you miss the bank shot into the corner, it can go into the side or it can go behind the knife. So that's a very good lesson for you. If you, are, if you have a bad skill, you haven't played for a long time, you want to try, try to maximize the, ch the chance of you winning uh, just by thinking. thinking you, you think, what can happen if I miss? You, you want to be able to get away with that miss. miss. And I have done that uh, many times in, in tournaments. I have missed many shots, but I got away with the miss because I was thinking of the possibilities of what can happen after. So, let me make a fi final uh, shot to show you what can happen. A ball goes there. Safety. You got away with that miss there. Okay? So there you go. That was my first rack. And uh, let me do another quick rack now when I'm getting warmed up. I will break harder this time. People like to see hard breaks. So I'm going to break a little bit harder this time. I just hope the windows won't break now. So let me break harder this time. Follow through. Follow through with the body. Like that. And you can easily get hard breaks only from following it through the cue without using any effort. You, you just need to focus on following it through with the cue all the way to the pack and you get automatically hard breaks. Okay?
And I got a pretty good position on, on the three ball over there. The position for the for the four ball is very difficult here. So if I if I shoot hard into the corner pocket. The problem is I might rattle into the jaws of the pocket, so especially if you haven't played for a long time, uh, that would be disaster. But look at this, if I make the three ball into the side pocket, I can shoot soft, because if you haven't played for a long time, it is better to shoot soft, because you, can, you don't have the power. You don't have power plus accuracy if you haven't played for a long time, but you can shoot soft. So I'm going to shoot soft into the, into, into the side pocket, uh, get automatic position for the four ball and if I miss the side pocket uh, the, the three ball might, uh, might end up over here behind the nine but that is very good so I will play with speed to enable that possibility of getting a snookered so let me do that yep that was not good I want to play a little harder to make the three ball go further in case I missed and then the cue ball went too far. Now I'm in, I'm in trouble, I'm just continue here. I'm jacked up, I'm jacked up, this is a tough shot but if I make this shot I have the five in the side pocket that I can make. So I'll do that and to shoot a little harder this time to get the cue ball back up from the rail to get a good shot on the five. So this is going to be a tough shot. If I miss the shot, four ball might go in, into the corner pocket. And if I miss the shot on this side, the four ball will go uh, hit the rail there, there, come up somewhere here, then it gets snooker behind these balls. So I will play with speed to enable that possibility. Okay, maybe one rail, two rails, three rails, and here the four ball will stop. So I will play with speed to enable that possibility. Missed you. I felt earlier that I should have uh, choked my cue, but I did not. And now I need to, need to pay for that mistake. So let me do it again. It was something like this, yeah. go. I'm getting warmed up now. And here, uh, I will just, uh, need, you, need, you need to look at the seven ball here. Where do you want to be on the six to come to the seven? And you can have a cut shot on the seven to come to the eight ball. Okay, so you don't need to be close to the seven, you can be here and you have good angle to come to the eight ball. So where do I want to be on the six ball to be able to get the cue ball over here? And uh, if I'm here, that is not good because I might get snooker be behind the eight when after making the six ball here. So I want to be on this side of the six to be safe. And maybe have a little angle on the, on the six ball. Hit the rail there, come up here with the cue ball. So I will, uh, I will make a star shot, make the five to the in the left side of this pocket here, just to get angle to get the cue ball more, to get the cue ball coming more to the uh, right at the contact. So I will do that. Uh, low right spin. There you go. That is perfect. That's perfect. And now I have the angle from the six to come up this way for the for the seven. And a common mistake is to try to hit the rail here and if you fail you might scratch in the side and you might also scratch in the corner. So what you want to do is you want to go directly into this area with speed and avoid these pockets. So I'll do that. Also common mistake, come up too short. So I'll shoot a little bit harder, maybe end up somewhere here. Okay, low right spin. There you go, I, I shot it too soft, I tried to stop it here, it stopped early, I'm still fine, but, but if I had 
if I had attempted to stop here, I would have stopped here and it would be a top shot on the center. So now I can make a soft shot, low right spin, just to hit it thin. And I hit, the, hit it too thin. Now I have a cut shot on the A, but I'm fine because I can go one way, two way position for the 9. And if I miss the 8, I will be, uh, he will be snooker. Okay? I will try to get the cue ball. <coughs> mm. I will try to get the cue ball over here. <coughs> I have some dust in my, in my mouth. Okay, well, so let me try that. <coughs> so I will try to attempt to get the cue ball somewhere in this area. So if I miss the egg, he can't make the egg anywhere. Yeah, there you go. And I'm too close to a rail here, that's not a good shot. I shot that too soft. So let, let me try to make a shot. I'm using pure top spin here. Because I haven't played for a long time. And there you go. And the rack is over. How many times did I miss on, in, this, in that rack? Was that only, only the, the miss you there that I missed? I didn't miss anywhere else. So yeah, that, that is how you use uh, strat strat <coughs> something in my throat here. <coughs> <coughs> some dust. Need to get some water. <coughs> Got to get some water here. Some building dust here. After I assemble the table I use sandpaper dust went everywhere so it is in, in the air so I'm gonna go and drink, drink some water and I will make another video later okay so and the next time goodbye life than pool play pool play pool